St. Matthew 12, reading from 46. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Father, I'm just a sinful lump of clay, but cleanse me from every sin, thought, deed, and action, and words right now. Wash and cleanse me in your blood, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Speak to me and speak through me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just for the few minutes that we'll be spending in this text, brothers and sisters, I want to use for a theme, who is my mother? Who is my mother? Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Somebody say, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Who is my mother? Can I tell you something here? Listen. If Jesus were living in your world, you would not like him just like how the people of his contemporary did not like him. You miss a good place to say amen. Because Jesus was not the popular guy that everybody loved. And everybody wanted to be his friend. He was not the popular guy. Jesus was what we know as the radical. He was a radical. Somebody said radical. Yes, man. Jesus was a radical. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise him again. Amen. Say radical. Amen. So, if Jesus were the pastor of your church, some of you would say you would not come in back to church. Or oh, you don't hear me. I say, if Jesus were the pastor of your church, some of you would say you're not coming back to church. Because he was a radical Can you imagine, as I said today, my theme for the few moments is, who is my mother? This is the Mother's Day message. Can you imagine Jesus is speaking and somebody comes to bother him to say, your mother and your brethren and your sister, they are outside calling you and he looked at them and said you know when they are when so, i love the african shows when something concerns an african he would say, he would say wait oh so jesus maybe would like wait oh who is my mother who is my sister who you call my brothers and then I am not the one who said it, you know. The Matthew said it. He wrote it. He was there. He's an Matthew. Matthew's gospel is an eyewitness gospel. He pointed. Are you listening to me today, brethren? He pointed to his disciples and said, These are my brothers.
Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. I am following Christ. I don't know who you are following, but I am following Christ. So if my brother, my blood brother, who sucked the same mother's breast as I did, is not a Christian and not following God, the brother in the church serving God is my brother, not him. I'm busy with him. It's just a few moments. But I have to drop two bombs because one man says, what a bombshell. This is a bombshell right here. This is a bombshell right here. In the Caribbean, they say blood thicker than water. Not to me. If you are my blood sister and you are the devil, you are not my sister. If you are my blood brother, so you say, but you are not a child of God. You are not my brother. See my brother here, those who are in the church, those who are following the will of God. Some of us can't even serve God because of family. Family in your life. Everything you must do for the Lord, family directs you. Family tells you, don't get church the money. Don't wear that dress, go to church. I buy it for you to go to party. Hello, somebody. Jesus says, if you do the will of God, you are my sister, you are my brother. Not those who I come from any family line. So I am following Jesus. They oh dare you to open that filthy mouth of yours to tell me that me and my brother live bad. If me and my blood brother, if, if he is not a Christian and I am a Christian, we are on no terms. If I am going to church and he's going to club to look at go-go girls, we are not on terms. We are not on the same page. You know who and I are on the same page? When I come to church and see my brother in the Lord. That's my brother. You see why some of us don't like the word of God? No. It is too drastic. We can't deal with it. Are you with me, somebody? Amen. But as I tell you, I am not making it up. Amen. Here, look at verse 50. Whosoever. Are you there? Are you there? Whosoever. Look in the word with me, man. Even on your phone. Whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. So if I have a mother who gave birth to me and she's not doing the will of God, She's a, to me, she's only a carrier. She carried me come. She was enjoying herself and me come. But she's not my mother. Let me be busy with her. She's not my mother. My mother is a woman of God. My mother does the will of God. Amen. I am one person. Me not in no family. Nobody not tell me about no family. The only family I have is the family of God. That's why every Sunday morning I come here, I sing. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I don't business with Campbell family. Campbell people a bad breed, just like you Williams, like you Powell, like you other names. 
But the family of God is the right family. Oh, I start getting one and two. Amen. It's in the world, brethren. It's in the world. All those sisters and brothers that you have that are enticing you to do the wrong thing. You need to turn your back upon them and say, look here, let me tell you the truth. You are not my sister. You are not my brother. The people I'm going to write now up church, they are my sister. They are my mother. They are my brother. Lord Jesus, this is hard preaching. No wonder Jesus' disciples say, who can take this? Amen. Did you know that in John chapter 6, most of the members came out of the church that Jesus was pastoring because they said, you can't take this preaching, man. If you're taking a line, read John 6. They said, who can hear this? this? These are hard saying. We can't take it. Who is my mother? Not a woman who gives birth to me. A woman who does God's will. A woman who says, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes, sir. Uh, one little boy who was only eight years old. Mm, one night, one night he said to his father, he said, Father, I want to go to my bed now. So come, let us pray. The father looked at the little boy. He said, son, I cannot pray because my mother never taught me how to pray. But he said, when you pray, pray thy will, thy will. Thy will be done. Thy will, thy will. Thy will be done. Oh, teach me from my heart to say, thy will be done. And that is what the prayer is about. Let God's will be done in your life. If you today, if you are a woman and you allow the will of God to be done in your life, you are my sister. If you are a man and you allow the will of God to be done in your life, you are my brother. If you are my blood brother and you're not doing God's will, you are obeying Satan, I don't business with you. You are on your own. Don't even come to my house and not come into yours. When you're a child of God, you don't mix up. Some persons have all kind of something under their bed. And because you're family members, you must mix up and get involved. I'm not going to be mixed up and I'm not going to get involved. Hallelujah. Amen. I deal with those who do the will of God. I had this friend. I had this friend and colleague. She was such a pretty lady. Uh, looked like she came from some Jewish family. Bless the Lord God. And a man saw her and he he said he wanted to marry her. Are we still here? Talking about those doing the will of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless God. Hallelujah. Hang on a moment. I'm going to give you the story.
He said he loved her and he wanted to marry her. And before you knew it, she got married to him. I don't think I, I don't remember knowing that she was actually quoting the man. But she told me that she's married. And when I spoke with her and I said, boy, this man now, I said, is he saved? She said, well, I think she said he's a backslider. And um, she never agreed with me at all. <laughs> When I turned to her, and I said to her, I said, look here, this is it. I said, if you marry the devil's son, then the devil himself is your father-in-law. She said, no, 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 don't say that. I'm going to bring him to church. And every time every every day she would come to work and we would meet and we would talk i would always tell her i said look here i said that is an unequal yoke i said if you marry the devil's son then the devil is your father-in-law if you're married to me campbell is going to be your father-in-law because that's my father's name if I marry the devil's daughter, then my father-in-law is the devil himself. I want to have nothing to do with the devil. I want to be in the will of God. So because I want to be in the will of God, I marry only those in the family line. You know what the Bible says? It says you're a royal priesthood. You're a holy nation. You are a set apart people. You think the Duke of Edinburgh is going to leave London and come down here to marry a domestic engineer? Who, who, who actually believe that? He's not going to do it. They see themselves as royal and they're going to stay royal. Amen. Amen. So the Bible says, I don't care if it's your blood mother or your foster mother or your blood brother or your blood sister. The Bible says, come out from among them and be separated. Am I preaching? Yes. It's a, it's a few bomb dropping, but I don't mean drop it. It's the word of God. Master, look, look, look. I know you're busy. I know you're preaching the word. But outside rating on your right now is your mother, your brothers, and your sisters. Wait, oh. You could have bright. Who is my mother? You know who is my mother? You have any idea who is my brother's sir? You have any ideas who is my sister, sir? Look here for your information. These who I call my disciples, they are my brothers. And anybody who does the will of God, are my, they are my sisters and my mother. My mother is not a woman who gave birth to me. I have a different interpretation for mother. I have redefined mother. Lord, you miss a good place to say amen. I hear some, I hear... You know, some people have the nerves to. Has this come to me now? Let me drop one more bomb. You know, my sister, some people, you know, if you notice how I refer to my brethren, I would always say, okay, my sister, bless you, my brother. That's how I refer to them. You know why? Because Jesus is my bigger brother. Me and him are two brothers. Hmm? No. Some people have the nerves to say that my sister told them things about me. And therefore, if 
crayfish come out of water and say alligator down there then what you're going to do you're going to believe them huh no problem that's what they say but the little the sister word we are talking about is who i would call or used to call my little baby sister what kind of crayfish they're talking about they want to let me know that whatever my sister says about me it has to be true it came from the horse's mouth of course she's nothing but an ass if she speaks evil of me she's they're right she's nothing but an ass my baby sister blood sister could not know anything about me when my baby sister was born i was already a baptized christian and started preaching i was baptized the april and my sister was born the june when i got married she was only eight years of age no she i was when i got married she was 10 years of age when i left the house and went to bible college she was eight years old and then i got married she was 10 years old i never returned to live with my mother she was 10 and never returned to live with my mother after getting married so how is she going to know about me to tell the world about my character she knows nothing of me so if she's possessed by the devil and wants to destroy my character who knows nothing about me those who listen to her they are just as demonic themselves my mother my sister my brother are those who do the will of god some people didn't know those statistics well let me tell you now when i left for bible college my sister was born 19 the first of june 1980 and i left for bible college in 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 1988 she was only eight years old little baby so how is she going to know about my life well sometimes we know got to take the bull by the horn because when the devil walks and deceives people if i don't walk and and correct those lies people are gonna never know people are never going to know when i was getting married she would be too young to be our flowers girl and i never went back to the house so I only heard on the way that she joined the police force. I don't know anybody who is lie like the police. It's like when, once you join the force, you must learn these words. The police went at a particular, uh, in a particular area where we heard that criminals were. We were greeted by gunfire. The police returned the fire and two men were found suffering from gunshot wounds. They were taken to the hospital where they were pronounced dead. That is the story for every case. <laughs> and that was, that is a very organization my sister joined. And people know, because I do the will of God and she doesn't, she never like a bone in me. 
and spread rumors about me. And people are going to sit down and say, if it comes out of the horse's mouth, then it's true. She knows nothing about Amos, Lord Alan Campbell. Just like her, you never know so many name Lord. She don't even know my name, Lord. It's not my bigger sister. It's my mother, little wash belly. My mother, friend, when she come, my mother never knows say, she was going to have a baby again. She thinks she's done with that. My mother had her when she was 37 years of age. Almost 40. I'm talking about who is my mother. If you are my baby blood sister and you don't do God's will, you could have hate me looking more, but I don't own you. I can divorce my sister. I can divorce my brother. I can divorce my mother. If you do God's will, come and let me embrace you. You are my brother. You are my sister. You are my mother. Who is my mother? Master, master. I know you're preaching your, the word, but right now waiting on your outside is your mother, your brothers, your sister. Wait, oh, you could have bright. Who is my mother? Who are you talking about? Who is my brothers? You know what? You, you want to know my brothers? See them here. My church brothers are my brothers. You want a plainer word than that, brethren? Tell me now. You want a plainer word than that? I am not any family man. I am a church man. If it's not church you're in, don't worry with me. If you see me coming out of a yard, it's my church sister yard. Don't worry what I'm going to do. If I'm going to enjoy myself, I enjoy myself talk with her. If it's a brother, yes, I'm going to enjoy myself praying with him. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. But birds of a feather flock together. If you are my brother and you are a demon, that means me a demon too. No. If you are on your way to hell, I'm on my way to heaven. What do you think in Revelation? The Bible says, and God shall wipe away all tears from your eyes. Because of oh my man. If he doesn't do that, can you imagine? If you could stay in hell and look, if you could stay in heaven and look over into hell. And when you look over there is your mother. Tears. Hey water. Alligator, hey water. So if God doesn't wipe those tears from your eyes, you're born in heaven forever. But God doesn't want that. Oh, glory. Because in heaven, you are not supposed to cry. Oh, Jesus. You ever heard that song? The writer says, I know in heaven you're not supposed to cry. But when I look at the one who led me to Christ, he said, tears fill my eyes. Bless God. By the way, you know what Jesus says? He says, if anyone doesn't hate mother and father and sister and brother, for my sake, he cannot be my disciple. Oh, you didn't have to say, you don't have to say amen if you didn't read it. But it's there. Yes. He says, if anyone does not hate mother, father, sister, brother, for my sake, he cannot be my disciple. Not only that, but he said, he who loves his life shall lose it. But he who hates his life for the gospel's sake, they shall have it. From, from this lady, from this lady named Miss Corona came out. Some people don't see church door here yet. Hide behind wall. Me no able and pray me afraid. Me no able church. Me no able. You love your life, not true. You want to live, not true. Well, Jesus says, that's the time you're going to die. But if you hate your life for his sake, if you risk your life, in other words, for the gospel's sake, he will preserve your life. 
Hello, from Miss Corona came, I never missed one Sunday. And I don't guarantee you. I guarantee you. You hear me? I don't guarantee. I guarantee that after she's gone, we will still be here. I tell we are Carol and our companion. We don't love our lives. Jesus came all the way from heaven and died for us. So why should we not be so protective of our lives? Amen. I see some folks. I see some folks. I see some folks. Make me know. Say, look here. Anything at all you have for me. Carry. Come down yard. Come give me. Come in and come out. Guess what? It was only one case. One case. Sister Diane, that was confirmed. The Prime Minister came and said, we have our first case. Everybody gets scared and now come out. Now we have 400 odd cases and I know people come out going back to work. Tell me if we have no sense. I know you shouldn't hide. After we have 400 odd cases now, that's the time you come out and going to work. That's the time you are driving a taxi where people are breathing on you. Tell me now if you have sense. As much as my fool man, my wife on you. On, brethren, if Jesus died for you, you must can risk your life for him. But guess what? When you risk it for him, he protects you. Hallelujah! He guards your step. I like that song. I have a shepherd, one I love so well. How oh, he has blessed me. Tongue can never tell. On the cross he suffered. Shed his blood and died. That I might ever in his love confide. He said following Jesus every day by day. And he never means word. The writer said nothing can harm me. As long as he leads the way. It could be darkness. It could be sunshine. Whatever befalls. Jesus, my shepherd, is my all in all. Woo! The writer says, he's my rock, my sword, my shield. He's the wheel in the middle of the wheel. He's the fairest of 10,000. He's my bright and the morning star. Let me tell you something. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. If you're not afraid today, say hallelujah. If you're not afraid today, shout glory. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm closing now, but look here, mothers. They're talking about vaccine. We, once you're a born again Christian, you're, you already are vaccinated against every virus. Come on. Praise the Lord. AIDS came about from when? From when? Born 1980. When this AIDS came out, it, we were just as bewildered as this corona. Hmm? But the only time you're going to get AIDS is when you are AIDS a companion. Amen. So if I go to the doctor and I do a blood test and doctor says you're positive, I would have to think of who gave me this package and carry back to give them. It's not mine. I took up the wrong packet. I took up the wrong package. Are you still here, somebody? So whether it's AIDS or it's Corona or it's H1F1, whatever virus it is, we have already been vaccinated against them. 
Amen. I'm sure most of us in here, I am not older than everybody here, but some of you must remember, I must say, Sly Fox and Robbie Man are closing now. You can't forget that the song. Because them will say, Jai, you feel lick them with diseases. The most dangerous diseases. You remember the song? He said, The one polar malitis. Arthritis and the one diabetes. And you know why he said? You know why he said, Jai must lick them with diseases? Because every day them dress up in their trousers. What happened to your skirt and blouses? Hey, pull up! <laughs> Lord Jesus. Hallelujah! <laughs> so you what happened now? So it came on the news that everybody must find a vaccine, eh? Everybody must go and get vaccinated. So my mother said, she's not going anywhere. My father not going anywhere. So I grew up with that. I didn't go anywhere. Until today. No polymelitis. No arthritis. I found me a polymelitis, no companion. Amen. Once you're a child of God and you're serving God, the writer says, nothing can harm me while well, he leads the way. Nothing. Amen. 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 Do you think I'm leaning on the Prime Minister? Do you think I'm leaning on Dr. B. Say so? Who says so? Do you think I'm leaning on the Minister of Health? I'm leaning on the everlasting arm. What a fellowship. What a joy divine. Leaning on the everlasting arm. What a blessedness. What a peace of mind. Leaning on the everlasting arm. Amen. Children of God, you must take your salvation seriously. Once you're a child of God, you're a Holy Ghost child of God, you have immunity spiritual, social, and international immunity. Hear what the writer says. What have I to fear? What have I to dread? I appreciate the Prime Minister. He says, what have I to dread? Leaning on the everlasting arm. Oh, I have blessed peace with my Lord so near. Leading on the everlasting. I appreciate the Prime Minister. I appreciate the Minister of Health and their team. Because if you are in charge of a country and you sit down and do nothing, did you know that the entire country can be wiped out? It's four million people now in the world have corona disease. You don't hear me? Four million. Amen. In Bible days, there, there was a place called Ephesus. Heard about that? Yes, when Paul wrote the letter to the Ephesians church, that was the church at Ephesus. The people were called Ephesians. <laughs> Ephesus no longer exists. You know what happened to Ephesus? Malera walked through and just wiped them out. Wiped them out. So today, they don't exist. And look here. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Be informed. Corona is not the worst thing. Every year, flu kill more people than these viruses do. If you think I'm joking, go and research and do the statistics. Yes. Flu and bees kill more people than viruses and AIDS do like AIDS do. Amen. But thanks be to God today. We are here. And we are giving praise. And we are giving glory to God. Amen. 
This is a radical message. I'm not lying. And you don't have to tell me it's radical. I know it's radical. It's a radical message. But it's true. If you are my sister, if you are serving the Lord, you're my sister. If you are serving the Lord, you're my brother. If you are serving the Lord, you're my mother. If you're doing the will of God, then you are my family. If you're not, you are my enemy. You are on opposite sides. Because I'm fighting for this army and you are fighting for the other army. If you were to come to church and your blood sister said, no, she's going to a party and she's inviting you to the party, what would you do? Go with your church sisters to the party or go with your mother's daughter to her party? Would you go to with your church sisters to church or would you go with your mother's daughter who is your sister to the party which one of them would you choose I guess some people would choose the biological but if you go with the spiritual sister then you are doing the will of God lastly brethren don't be ashamed to own the Bible. Don't be ashamed to do what the Bible says. It's not you write it. It's not your bishop write it. Your bishop is just a sinful lump of clay. Don't be ashamed. If my mother were alive today and not doing God's will, I tell her the same thing. You're not my mother. I won't even look for her on Mother's Day. My mother was alive today and she wasn't a Christian. Call her wish her happy Mother's Day. Two Sundays a meet. Only time I would see her as my mother is if she's doing the will of God and encouraging me as a son continue to do the will of God. Hey. <laughs> it's not every church could I take this kind of preaching, you know. But true by true holiness, we grew up on good word of God, not true. So you're not shaky. Come on. Come on. This is not secularism, you know. This is preparation for heaven. So guess what happened now? Before you go to bed tonight, take it up again. Read it again. And said, okay, let's see what the preacher was talking about. Let's pray. I think it's 377. Good. Leaning on the everlasting arm, we could do that. Praise the Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you today. You asked the question, who is my mother? My mother is not a woman who gave birth to me. She's a woman who does God's will. And I follow you, Jesus, right now. Let me follow you to the T. Same thing for the biological brother and the biological sister. They can be my sister and brother if they do your will. Father, help every one of us today in the reach of your presence and your voice to do your will. Thus says the Lord. And that is exactly why when you pray, you taught us to pray and to say, let your will be done not your permissive will, but your perfect will. Let your will be done on earth as it is done in the heaven. Because it is all about your will at the end of the day. Lord, please to hear and answer our prayer. And let our cry come unto you. For Christ's sake, amen. And amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sister Baker, moderator, Lord bless you as we hand back to you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Okay, thank you for that message, Dr. Campbell. And we will be singing for more hymn book. Hymn number 377. Water Fellowship. You may find it today, amen, please. Can we stand? Yes, thank you. Shanae. Shanae. The fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, and we have come to the end of our worshiping today. I hope we do enjoy today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I do hope we enjoy the rest of the evening. And it is now time for the benediction. The benediction, please. And now may the same in, in grace of our Lord, our Lord and Savior, Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ the love of God, the, the Comforter, fellowship, fellowship of the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, comforter rest, rest with me and abide with us all, both now, now and forevermore. And forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you. Have a good evening.